for this next song. This next song is called. You got, I'm not. Okay. This next song is called "I Need You Now," and um, I wrote this because these are real stories based off of real situations that happen to real people. And I wrote it because my heart went out for those people. Because although I've never been in a situation like this, we gotta understand that their reactions change the whole outcome of that situation. Turn down just a little bit. Their reactions became the difference in their situation. And so I just want y'all to pay attention to the words because this might hit close to home for you. If it doesn't, that's fine. But just pay attention. Yo, she's in her late twenties, got no money. Pretty smile, but to her nothing's ever funny. Long story, but her man made her change her pace. She lost all hope, and so she named her daughter Faith. From her loving family, she was separated. Now she sits at home and cries because she's frustrated. Afraid of the truth, people suspect abuse. But because of the kids, she won't cut them loose. Helpless in defense, because her husband's relentless. With no child, she tried to leave. He beat her senseless. No transportation, nothing but desperation. But she won't go to God with her situations. Trying to be patient, but she's sick of waiting. And she's trying to find a way to leave the man she's facing. She wants someone to have the and bless her with some things. So she lifts up in the sky and sings. I need you now, God. So many times where I was like, man, 
How many of you felt like it don't matter if I'm here or not, nobody pays attention to me anyway? Yes? No? Okay. You got it. Alright, how many people here? And I mean, if the answer is no, that's fine. But I just I just wanna know, how many people here have contemplated suicide before? Just thought about it, like it don't matter if, if if I go, if I just jump off the bridge right now, nobody's gonna care. Good, thank y'all for your honesty. I wanna let y'all know that we have a friend in Jesus Christ that no matter what we do, he loves us so much that he came to the cross and gave his life for us. But he didn't just give his life just to give his life. He gave his life so you guys can be free of the things that keep y'all bound. Because when we get depressed or when we when we get into those situations where we feel nobody likes us, that's just the enemy trying to tell us that we're not worth it because he knows that if you guys really discover who you really are, you can change the world. I don't know if y'all know this, but every single one of y'all have people waiting on y'all to make a decision to live with Christ so that their lives can be changed. Everybody has a purpose and a calling for your life. You guys have a treasure inside of you. Y'all wanna know how unique y'all are? This might be kinda corny, but I don't care. I got the mic. So, check this out. Look at yourself. I don't care which stuff. Look at yourself. There are 24 billion people that ever walked the face of this earth. There are 7 billion people that's alive right now. God is so unique and so intricate and He cares so much that when He made you, He made you with the only thumbprint in the world. The thumbprint you got ain't nobody else got. And then, He went a step further and was like, Alright, I'm going to get really tricky. And He made it so your other thumb don't even match this thumb. And if you don't believe me, look, just look real quick. And then if you really don't believe me, compare it with your friend and be like, that ain't it, you know? This got two squirrels. This got three squirrels. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> and the reason why, why y'all think that the cops take fingerprints? Because they know that you are the only person with that friend. And God is so unique and so intricate. He said, I love you guys so much that I'm going to make this person like this that nobody can be like. And the purpose that God has for you in life, nobody can fulfill but you. But you guys are one choice away from changing the world. The most dangerous thing in the world is a group of young people that decide to live for God. Because once you find your true identity, that's when things start to change. And here's one thing that I went through. One thing that I went through was... Anybody ever felt like this? I was like, man, I want to change. I want to live for God, but...